Hello, my name is Dr. Saad Khan and this is my biology channel. Although I know the channel's name is not biology, but trust me, this is biology channel. This is my first video. So, uh, first off, we'll start with the basic topic, the cell. And in cell, today we'll uh, discuss the basic concept regarding cell biology that is why cells are small okay okay then we start with a simple example suppose there are two cells this is the smaller cell a and why are we calling it a small because its length is one millimeter okay and suppose there is a larger cell and why are we calling it larger cell because its length is Two millimeters okay so cell a has length of one millimeter and cell b has length of two millimeters the surface if length is one millimeter then the surface area of cell a would be so the formula of surface area is length into breadth into six for a cube because this is not just a two dimensional cell this is the cell is a cube of course and this cell is also a cube so uh, uh, it would be a three dimensional cell. So the formula of surface area is length into breadth into six. So the surface area of this smaller cell would be one into one into six, that is six millimeters square. And for cell B, which is the larger cell, the surface area would be uh, two into two into six, that is four into six, 24 millimeter square okay so we rub all the details and we just write what is important okay so for cell a surface area is six millimeters square while for cell b surface area is 24 millimeters square okay simple as that now the volume for cell a would be uh, the formula for volume is length into breadth into height so it the volume would be one into one into one that would be one millimeter cube and the uh, volume for cell b would be two into two into two equals eight millimeter cube okay so uh, after all that calculation we get these simple values for cell a surface area is six millimeter square and volume is one millimeter cube and for cell b the surface area is 24 millimeter square and the volume is eight millimeter cube if we take the ratio the surface area to volume ratio that for cell a would be six is to one and for cell b it would be 24 is to eight or we can say 3 is to 1 so after all that we get this these simple values for cell a and for cell b cell a has a ratio of 6 is to 1 surface area to volume and cell b has ratio of 3 is to 1 now cells are metabolically active and for them to do all the metabolic reactions cells need a greater surface area to volume ratio for cell A which is a smaller in size but this has greater surface area so it would be more metabolically active I'm not sure of the spelling of metabolically is it double L or singular so it would be more metabolically active and cell B would be less metabolically active so for a cell to be more metabolically active for cell to be more active simply we can say it needs to have a smaller size not a larger size therefore uh, if we recall a little of embryology we say that uh, in embryology basically when the zygote forms by the fusion of a sperm and egg a single nucleus is formed the first division is vertical division that is called a cleavage and two large cells are formed these cells are not that active then there is a second cleavage and four cells are formed these cells are a little more active and then there is a third cleavage and eight cells are formed but for the cleavages more, the cells divide more and more and their size actually decreases so as the ma mass of cell is increasing their volume is actually decreasing so 
Therefore, we can say that as the volume of cells is getting smaller and the surface area is getting big, we can say as the uh, embryo continues to grow, it is getting more and more metabolically active and more reactions are taking place in it. Okay, that was all for today and thank you for watching. I hope you have learned the answer to the question why cells are small. Thank you for watching.